it's been a while since I talked to you and you know before the year ends I really wanted to make this video to share with you some of the things that I learned in 2018. It has been I would say quite a great year for me. I started a new job, I got a boyfriend, I started a business and then I decided to stop the business. I know there's a lot to talk about that. You know what, I'm just gonna cut all this intro and just get into it. <laughs> the first thing that I learned in 2018 is to spend more time with those who matters. I am very grateful this year that I got to spend quite a lot of time with my close friends and I also get to see my family about once every month and I get to see my boyfriend every like maybe two to three times a week which is quite a lot. Despite growing up and realizing that my social circle is like shrinking and I don't really meet a lot of people anymore, I'm actually fine with it because I feel like I have been spending time with people that you know actually cares about me. The second thing that I learned is a committed relationship really makes a difference. Yes, I know, I got a boyfriend this year, can you believe it? Oh. <laughs> nah, but yeah, I'm really glad that I met Kevin this year and being with him has really made my year a lot easier. I had someone to, I have, I have someone who spent time with me, you know, most of the time and I have someone that I can go to when I'm down which happens quite a lot he has definitely brightened up my days okay that's so cheesy but anyways I'm not saying that I have to have a boyfriend to be happy like I don't regret any of the four years that I was single I just feel like you know have someone who is committed to you actually makes a difference that's what I'm trying to say yeah <laughs> the third lesson that I learned is it's okay to do things that are not too adult like so this year I actually signed up to be a part of my church drama um, to act and also to help out in the setup although I have to stay back till like you know sometimes 12 a.m. for like maybe three times a week I never once regretted my decision and that is because being there doing all this artsy stuff like it really brought back to the really creative and excited girl that I used to be. While well, acting as a bimbo princess isn't exactly adult-like, if it makes me happy, why not? Number 4. Always make time for your spiritual belief. Speaking of acting in church, I've actually been visiting the church quite often this year and it has really helped me to stay faithful and grounded. I don't really talk about my religious belief often on social media because I didn't want people to you know, get uncomfortable because they feel like I'm preaching or anything. But I've decided to mention it this time because it has helped me in ways that I don't know how to describe. The fifth thing, not every business is gonna work out. So I actually have a really cute online shop which I've sourced for the products and managed to get it done in a way that my suppliers can ship the products directly to my consumers. And it was a really good idea and efficient but after a few months of doing it, I realized that there's just a lot of mismatch in a lot of aspects of the business. Um, one thing for sure is like I didn't like the fact that I don't have much control over what the suppliers sent to the customers and so after a few months I realized that it's not really working out. It was really hard for me to admit defeat so soon but I remember when I talked to my friend Siang Jun, she gave me a really wise advice. So she told me that you know just take this like a relationship. If you meet a guy and you know like four months in that he's not suitable for you it's better to end things early than to just keep waiting for it to keep go on like I don't want to incur more losses in my business right so it makes a lot of sense and I decided to just make the call I might actually you know get back into it um, after I find a better way to you know sell my product and to market it and to do all that yada 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 but there's no promises 
That also brings me to my lesson of the year number six. Be brave to take action. Do I regret my decision to start a business? Hell no. As someone with zero experience in operating a business but also dreams to own my business one day, starting this business and running it for just a few months, I've learned so much. So, 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 so much. I'm so damn proud of myself for starting this business and I'm also so damn proud of myself for this, for being brave enough to, you know, just pause it and stop it when I know I needed to do that. Number seven, have a healthy relationship with money. One of my New Year's resolution this year is to be better at my finances. And so I picked up this book called You're a Badass in Making Money by Jen Sincero. And this book came highly recommended by my friend Kelly Trek on her podcast, The Kelly Trek Show. I think I've always had a really indecisive relationship with money because I never really had a lot of them, but I really want them, but I'm shy to admit that I want them because I don't want to look so materialistic and shallow. But I realized that, you know, just accepting the fact that I like them because having more of money would also allow me to do things that I love, like sharing. And the more I want to give others, the more I want to share others, I need more money. So basically that's kind of my takeaway from that book. And if any of you are struggling with your relationship with money, I highly recommend this book to you. Number eight, always stay focused. I've always been the most distracted person on earth. I always want to do so many things at one time. I want to do YouTube, I want to start my own business, I want to blog, I want to go out with my boyfriend, I want to hang out with my friends, I want to spend time with my family. Like, I always have so much in mind and I realized that because of that, it made me jack of all trades but master of none. Instead of trying to do so many things at once and multitask, which is a thing that us millennials like to do, I I've learned that only by staying focused, I can get good at that one thing and to really excel in it. Number nine, it is okay to take things at your own pace. I have always been one to compare myself to others on social media or on any other platforms on how I perform. And this year, I decided to make the call of not having to travel to feel good about myself, of not trying to compare myself to other people in terms of their career because I took an eight month break last year because of my mental health. Although I might be behind my friends by a bit or by a lot, or maybe I might be ahead of them, I don't really care anymore because I realized that we all have our own timing, we, have, we all have our own pace and that is okay. Number 10, a bit of madness is key. This is my favorite line from my favorite song in my favorite movie, La La Land. A lot of you know that I suffered from depression and PTSD and I'm kind of still recovering from it. And I've, I've, and I felt, oh my God. And I've gotten so much better this year compared to where I was last year. I've learned to be grateful that I have depression. I've learned to accept that, you know, this is a part of me and it is what makes me who I am. It is madness. It is madness to be so negative that I want to end my life sometime. It is madness to be so bubbly and energetic and smiley at one time and then be so negative at another. But I've learned to accept it. It is the key to make me a better person, to appreciate what I have better, and to, you know, to really learn to just live life the way it is. And those are the 10 things that I learned in 2018. I hope that by sharing it with you, you get to learn a little bit from it too. I actually have really exciting stuff planned for 2019 for my YouTube channel, so if you enjoy my videos or if you're excited to see what I have, be sure to subscribe and 
I'll see you in my next video. Happy New Year! Bye! Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.